the thing is, we use this as an excuse. We use this as a reason to not act. And so what I want to talk about today is that impl- information needs to partner with implementation and accountability. Hey, and welcome to the Full Way to Joy podcast, the podcast for women who are done stressing about the weight of the world, of expectations, and settling for status quo, and ready to step into the full weight of joy. Joy in the journey, whether up or down, joy through the life's challenges, and joy in loving your life right where you are, even though sometimes we feel like chucking it all and moving to Bali. It's for women who are ready to step into who God called them to be. He chose you to be in this world. He created you for a specific purpose. God called us to be the light on a hill, and by embracing who you are and whose you are, you can stand on that hill and shine. The best part, when you're standing next to another woman who's also on the journey, the world gets brighter. My name is Tammy. I'm your host and a master certified life coach and a trained therapist. For over a decade, I've been helping women do just that. Step into who they're called to be and shine. Are you ready, friend, to start your journey? Let's do this. I love you Google things. I Google everything. I will look up when in, instead of searching for answers, sometimes if I if I just need a quick win, quick, like just give me an information. I mean, definitions. I look up how to's. I Google locations in, for phone numbers. I Google phone numbers for businesses and things. I, I look up information and information is so helpful. And I, I wanted to talk about information today. Because as you know, we finished our first round of the permission to pivot challenge, which was it was really cool, was really fun. I know there were some ahas in there that people, um, that some of the women who were there live and some of the, the who watched the replays, some of some ahas that they say that they, what am I trying to say here? Transformed, that they they got some transformation. They changed some things. They were able to step out of their comfort zone. They were able to understand how giving themselves permission to change, to shift, to grow, to do what God's calling them to do can lead to the life that they're looking for. That's what I was trying to say. One of the common themes and one of the things that plagues that, well, used to plague me and I still, I I catch myself and I check myself on this all the time. And many of my colleagues and many of my clients as well, actually colleagues, clients, everyone, is we want to learn as much as we can before we do. We want all of the knowledge, all the information. And one of the things that I've learned is that information is not enough to get you to your goals. Now, you're like, Tammy, that's not, that's not anything earth shattering, groundbreaking. I get it. Information is not enough. However, the thing is we use this as an excuse, we use this as a reason to not act. And so what I want to talk about today is that information needs to partner with implementation and accountability. And so let's see, three reasons why. Just get gathering information is not going to get you to your goal. Well, it's lack of application. Like we can get information, we know things in theory, but until we start doing it in real life, until we start taking action, until we start trying our hands out, getting our hands dirty, we only have concepts. We have theories that we don't have data, which is in, we don't have real tangible things like information, data points that will help us grow. We don't know if something's going to work. We don't know which way we're going to go. We don't have any practical application. It's all just an idea. And ideas are awesome. Our ideas, our ideas are necessary. Our, our ideas are important. But if we don't actually start taking those ideas and running with them, what good are they? How are they going to, how are we going to serve others? How are we going to fulfill what God has for us? Even if you are sitting in, even if you are devoting your life to Christ, and all you're doing is reading the Bible and maybe you're, you're even writing things down and you are discovering how things are together. And, uh, but if you don't do anything with it, what good really is it? You have all of this and you've done this great, amazing work. So even on the next level of if you have this idea, you have this dream and it's just information, 
it's not going to lead you to fulfillment or impact or service or anything that you're looking for, this joy. It's not going to lead you to joy. So another reason is overwhelm and paralysis. Information is in abundance. We have so much information at our fingertips. The I heard a statistic earlier this year that in one day, one day, 24-hour period, we process more information than was, I think, 100 years ago in an entire lifetime. We process it in one day. And actually, I believe it was 60 years ago when really when the, the introduction to the internet and then this information at our fingertips before then. Like there, there's so many things we ha- we know we we instantly with the Olympics going on we know instantly who is ahead and who's behind we know instantly what the what the uniforms look like and what some of the drama is we know instantly so much mon- so many details with the abundance of information it can lead to overwhelm and paralysis when you start looking at your goal, when you start looking at something you want to, this, this idea of this, something I want to start, if you wait and, and if you just gather information after information and piles and folders and notebooks, and, and I say this because I have notebooks full of notes, like things that I've written, things that I've gathered, things that I just, and, but those notebooks, until I take action with them, they do nothing. And, the, it gets to the point where there's so much information, you don't know which direction to go. This is why just getting more information will actually slow you down and paralyze you and not actually get you to what you want. And so the, and the next the next reason, let's stick with the three reasons why just information will not get you to your goals. And the next one is no real change. Knowledge alone does not lead to change. Without taking taking steps without acting, without implementing something, you won't see the transformation in your habits, your behaviors, your outcomes. You won't see your visions come to true. You won't see, you really, you can't even see God work until you start taking steps in obedience. So information alone is not going to get you to what you want. We've got to stop giving the excuse, the, well, I just need to learn this. Learning is amazing. I joke about how education is my favorite form of procrastination. I'm now, because I'm aware of that, I put boundaries around it. I, there's something that I want to learn to do. And until I reach the goal that I've set beforehand, until I've taken the actions and done what I need to do, I am not even going to look at that website and learn it. Because I know that if I can, I can get those dopamine hits, I can feel like I'm starting to be productive. If I just keep learning things, learning to learn, to learn, to learn. But if you don't actually do it, it actually just leads to anxiety because you have all of this, it's this angst. And I believe as Christians, we have it even more because we have, we're, we're called to serve. We know that we have a purpose, a calling deep inside our heart. And so we know it's there and just getting more information about it will actually make it more confusing. So we need good information. We need anointed information. We need we need to get get the information we need and then we need to step. And then we can gain some more clarity. We can gain some more information, but we can't let information alone stop us from moving. And it's and also let me call it like it is, lear- learning mode is safe in its comfort zone mode. We don't want to be in our comfort zone for long. There are times I get it. Like I just need a break. I need to sit here How long have you been in your comfort zone? Growth does not happen there. Obedience doesn't happen. God calls us to be out of our comfort zone. If you look in the Bible, not a single person who is mentioned in there was was asked to like, no, don't do anything different. Just learn this. Don't do anything with it. Just sit there. And no, every one of them were everyone, every woman, child, man, everyone in the Bible was asked to do something that they didn't know. Why don't we think God's going to do the same thing to us? And we know it deep in our heart he is, but why do we think that we're safe if we just sit in learning mode and that we're just, we're, we're just checking the boxes or we are like, we're, we are in obedience. Now there are times that he says, I want you to, 
retreat and I want you to learn this. But those times are a lot more clear and they're a lot more focused and there is an end goal to it. It's not for information alone. Okay, so why, why are, why is implementation key? You can't gain experience by just learning. You can gain knowledge, you can gain theory, but experience comes when the rubber meets the road, when you step out and try it. And when you put this information to practice, you'll learn from experience, refine your methods, understand what works best for you. The hands-on experience is invaluable. So what is what is this next step? What is this thing you've been learning and you're ready to implement? What is this thing you've been dreaming about and you're ready to take a next step? What is this thing that you want? This What is this vision or this goal that you've been just like tossing around, playing with some ideas, but you haven't actually taken a step towards it? Well, another key with uh, that stems from implementation is momentum. So many times, Tammy, I just need motivation and momentum. I just need some, well, action builds momentum, which builds motivation. Taking an action, even a tiny step will create that momentum. Progress begets progress. Progress builds on itself, making it easier to move forward and achieve larger goals. Building momentum towards your biz, your, well, towards your business, but also towards your purpose aligned life. You can't, you're not going to get the life of your dreams, the life that God's called you to by sitting still or just learning about how the other people are doing it. So you've got to start taking action. The third reason why implementation is key is visible results. You want momentum. You want motivation. You want those, the, the results, the outcomes from your goals. Well, implementation leads to tangible outcomes. Seeing progress and results reinforces the commitment and motivation. Seeing progress and results reinforces your commitment and motivation, and it encourages you to keep going. This is also why I am such a proponent of writing down your wins, because you're going to get knocked off your path. You're going to get knocked down. The enemy is going to try to stop you. And if you have them all written down, you see the results, you see where you started and where you are to this day, it's going to bring back that momentum, that that motivation. It's going to reinforce your commitment. Last week, I recommitted a couple of things to myself. And I'm telling you, the the, every day I looked for evidence of this one specific commitment. And I would write it down and I would spend a couple of minutes, just a couple of minutes celebrating, like, and and even I told myself, okay, when you achieve the this, you're done for the day. Doesn't matter if it's 11 a.m. or 2 p.m. You, like you can stop and do the other things in your life that you want to do. You're not slave to the computer. You're not slave to your to do list. But by taking action is what gave me the freedom to do that. And it was. It was so much fun. I enjoyed, like, there was a couple days, well, last week it had to be because I was getting my kids ready to leave for camp. And if you ever know, have you ever done camp prep? Like, you know that it is, it, it takes time, that your house is destroyed. There's, there's evidence in the week. Like, there is evidence after. I'm still, like, I spent the weekend trying to clean up after and get things, you know, cause to get things to the point where I can enjoy the fact that they are not making messes over the next two weeks while they're at camp. And be able to like do some of the things that I've wanted to do. But anyway, so we know now why information alone is not going to get us to our goal. We know why implementation is key. Now, let me tell you what really will throw some gasoline on it for you. What really helps that momentum, that commitment, the motivation, the tangible results, the visible results, the the overwhelm and paralysis separate, not separation. What's a good word? Reduction. Yeah. Like let's help us get break free from overwhelm and paralysis. Accountability. I, I mentioned that I committed, I recommitted to myself a goal last week. I told my coach and my coach, she every day, she's like, okay, message me when you get it done. Accountability 
is going to help you go faster. It's going to help you stay the course. It's going to help you know which doors are are yours to to walk through and which doors are not. It was really interesting yesterday in our church service. One of the things that that was said was every open door is not synonymous to God. Every open door in front of you is not a path that you should or need to go through. That it's talking about how sometimes open doors are the enemy trying to distract you. An accountability support system will help you determine if that open door helps you to your goals or not, or if it's a squirrel, or if it's a if it's a distraction. We don't have time to be distracted, ladies. We have things to do. We have kids to raise. We have relationships to build. We have people to impact. We have lives to live. We have obedience, and we have these goals to achieve. We don't have time for distractions. We don't have time. Now, when I say this, there are some things in life that are not distractions. Our kids are not distractions. They are our work. These are they're they're the reason why we do the things we do. So stopping to, you know, help them with something is not a, like I I've been reframing this for myself too. That it's it's not the distraction from my work. They are my work. They are my reason. And I you know though there's times that I have to say no to them. It's still like that. They're my reason. And so anyway, back on task. Let's let's not get distracted here. I just did a podcast. I, I think by the time this one, well, I know by the time this one airs, that one will have already been published and you hopefully listen to it because I even got distracted in there. Like we, we do get distracted easily. Information does that. That's another reason why is in, more information can lead to more distraction, more tangents, more rabbit holes. More doors that were not ours to even see, let alone walk through. So now let's go. Let's let's keep going here. Three reasons why accountability enables you to go faster. Three reasons why you really need a coach. Why everyone needs a coach. Tony Robbins says everyone, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a a, a mother, whether you're a, a librarian, like he says, every person needs a coach. I have a coach. Do you have a coach? have someone who will help you see and help you just like look at the things, the choices you're making and say, okay, is this distraction or is this going to help me get my goal? Okay. External motivation. Having someone to report to, just that little text to my coach for those days helps me have that extra layer of accountability and motivation. Like I, I knew that I had to send it to her. I wasn't going to let myself down or let her down by not sending that. Knowing that she was tracking my progress and that she would have asked me and I would have had to answer to her. I would have had to give her no excuse, but I would have had to say, this is what happened. And so she helps me keep track, keep push along on my, on my, on my journey. The same with my clients. I will do check-ins with them and say, okay, what's going on? I haven't heard, like, you haven't sent me any of your updates. You haven't sent me any of your wins. What's going on with that? Like, where, where's... Where's the movement? What's, what are you working on? What steps are you taking? Having that external motivation helps. How many times, like there's times that I just, I just need to share my, my success, my, I need to share it with someone else so they can get excited with me so they can celebrate with me. So the next is guidance and support. Accountability partners and coaches can provide guidance, feedback, direction, support. The, let me clarify here. Like the, the job of a coach is not to tell you what to do. If you have a coach who dictates and tells you what you need to do all the time or in for the majority of the time, that's not a coach. That's a consultant. Also, just be, be leery because the importance of getting accountability, the importance of even more so following your purpose and your God dream is God put on your heart and you know best. The job of a coach is to uncover what that is and help you stay focused on it, give you some really great questions and direction on um, and clarity on direction. So guidance and support, accountability partners and coaches can provide guidance, feedback, support, helping you navigate obstacles, distractions, helping you avoid common pitfalls, helping you stay focused, helping you remember your why, helping you keep that momentum or show you what momentum is happening. Another reason is focused effort. Account accountability helps you prioritize and focus your efforts. 
there are so many, so many things that we're doing. There's so many important, urgent things. And if you heard that it, urgent is the tyranny of important, like we have some important tasks, but a lot of times life throws us urgent things to distract us from what's important. And so by having accountability, we can stay focused on, is this urgent or is this important? There are times that we have to take care of the urgent thing, running to the ER. We, you know, there's, but running out of milk may not be urgent. Let me do the important thing and then I can do that. There's times that my daughter will barge into my office. Mom, I need milk. Okay. Is sure. It is important, but not right now. I can go to get milk at the end of the day when I'm running my errands. Add it to the list. No need to, no need to barge in here. But the focused effort, keeping our, the first things first and focusing on what's important in the moment will help us st- we stay aligned with our goals. It's so easy to get sidetracked. This is why I talk about a purpose aligned life and not just a, a desired life because we can get distracted by shiny objects. We can get distracted by things that others are doing and we're like, we want that too. But then when we go back to our vision, we go back to our priorities and our values and we see that it really doesn't, it's not really what we want. So if we would have stayed on that course, we would have been just, we would have wasted time and we would have learned something. Sure, sure. We would have learned something. But how many times have you you strayed from what you had planned and you got, you're like, why did I even do that? I don't even want this. So focused effort, accountability will help you ask, ask questions and help you say, okay, is, is it, are we shifting our goal or are we distracted from our goal? So it's so important. It's so, so, so important that we not just take in information, but we have implementation and accountability wrapped in our lives, wrapped in our goals. And we, and that it's enmeshed to the point where we learn something, we do something. We learn something, we share something. There's so many ways to take action. What action step is God asking you to take right now? What is he asking of you? What is, what's stirring inside of you that, that you know, if you don't do it, you're going to, it's just going to weigh heavy on you. The weight of the world is heavy. The weight of God is light. The full, like the full weight of joy is what's waiting for you when you start to take action, when you start to live this purpose aligned life, and when you start to create your purpose aligned business. All right, friend. I had other things, but I'm like, you know what? I don't even think I need to say that. I think that's a whole other podcast. I don't want to get on a tangent here. I want you to, I want you to think about how, what step you need to take right now. What is he asking you to do? And who can hold you accountable? Who's willing to ask you and confront you and in in a loving, gentle way to say, okay, if this is important to you, what are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to, to sacrifice to get this? A really good accountability partner will do this and even more so a coach. I would love to talk to you about what it looks like to have a coach, whether it's me or another person. It doesn't matter. Having a coach will enable you to get your, get to your dreams, your, your desires, this life that you desire faster. So I'd love to get on a call with you. In the show notes, there is a, a link. It's easy. 20 minutes. It's my gift to you. In that 20 minutes, we are not talking about, we're not talking about things that don't matter. We're, we're talking about you. 20 minutes on what's, what do you want? What's getting in the way? How? What's your next step? And how can you remove the blocks? It's amazing what we can accomplish in 20 minutes. But if you want that call, then get on my calendar and let's chat. Let's see what becomes possible when you stop staying in information mode and you step into action and accountability. All right. Well, I have a, a new challenge, the permission to pivot challenge coming up. Get into the Facebook group if you want more information about that. I I want to ask you a favor. If you have got if you've gotten anything from this podcast, if you're a listener, if this is your first time or you know, 238th time listening, I would love if you would leave me a review. I I have a goal set. I would like to get 200 reviews by the end of I would like to have 200 reviews by the end of the year. 
Now, why is this important? One is because the more reviews we have, the more the algorithm will will see that people like the show and will share it. The other thing is, is it helps me to know what what you're connecting with, what you like about it, what is helping you. So please, if you haven't left me a rating review, please do that and share it with a friend. Share this this episode with someone who you know is in learning mode and they it's time. You know that their their dream is too big, that the impact they can make is too important for them to stay learning forever. Share this episode with them. And and let's let's just work together to step into our light, to step into what God's called us to. Because when when you step into your purpose, the ripple effects allows others to step into theirs. Whew, with that, we are it's just amazing to see God's work and see how how amazing, how big that this one little step can be. All right. Now I'm rambling, so I'm going to get off here and I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to edit this, but I'm going to sit and I'm going to look at what action I need to take and I'm going to do it. So with that friend, choose joy until joy chooses you and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.